good, you guys. Welcome back to Chins and Giggles episode 81. 81. I cannot believe it's been 81 episodes. I know, girl. I can't believe Skinny Tober's over. Like, we're back, just us. I know, you guys. Y'all, hold on. Let me put these headphones on because it's honestly been a month since I worn them and I miss them. We didn't wear them for Skinny Tober. Oh my God, Myra, you sound so crisp in my ears right now. I know. I don't think people realize when you have the the headphones on, it sounds like very radio vibes. It's like it brings all of it to life. But you guys, Skinny Tober is over, and uh, it's a it's a it's funny because I'm gonna miss it. But also, I was telling Karina, my like, girl, the dressing up every week, like. I definitely feel like I lived my Halloween fantasy to the fullest. A little too like, much, girl. I feel like Skinny Tober feels like a fucking Halloween party every week. Every weekend. Like dead ass. Yes, 100%. It does. But I actually like that, Myra, because I feel like there's years that I'm like, I feel like I didn't take in like the spooky season or whatever. I feel like with Skinny Tober, you're dressing up every week. Like it yes. feels like you're like fully taking in like the whole Halloween vibes, you know? Yes. So Halloween for us, this is a couple of days pre-filmed. Halloween for us was yesterday. Yeah. Cause we're filming this on Wednesday morning, November 1st. And oh, you know November what I had 1st. to do? I had to pull out the Santa Claus crew neck queen. If you guys are listening, Myra is in her Santa attire. Yes. <laughs> You're like- not dressed like Santa Claus. Okay? <laughs> okay. So Halloween was yesterday. Let's do a little recap. We hosted at my house. We gave out Again. candy. We it was fun. Okay, I had to was. mention though, what happened this year? Like last year was popping, and I gotta say, my neighborhood still we had trick or treaters, but something about last year it was so many trick or treaters, and it's funny because like when I went to bed, I was on TikTok, and I came across a few videos of people talking about like what happened this year. Do you think it's probably because was the pandemic like? fresh freshly ending last year i'm really thinking because obviously 2020 was fucked with halloween like nobody did shit i remember 2020 like nobody trick-or-treated huh i don't think i don't think people trick-or-treated like every holiday was basically canceled in 2020 yeah um 2021 it was still very much a thing it like people were still 2021 it was still like lockdown time right was i can't y'all yes it was i can't remember but i feel like halloween wasn't in lockdown yet it was not like a lockdown, but people were still wearing masks. Oh, very much so. Still and wearing I feel masks. like 2022, everybody went crazy with everything. That's what I think. That's kind of what felt. I feel like 2022 holidays felt normal. It felt like pre-pandemic again. So that's what I feel. So last year was our first year in this home, and it was like iconic. I was actually flabbergasted, so this time... We're like, let's buy extra candy. Like, we're gonna run out for sure. Everybody last year was crazy. Brought uh, like we all brought extra bags of candy. And so, but I don't. I'm sure. I huh? don't know. Cause w- there was trick or treaters, but like definitely, I am grateful that our neighborhood, like they do go all out. People decorate, and they're like outside, and they're like in front of their garage. It's like very that very family vibes. Uh-uh. So I love that in general. But it was slower than last year, and yeah. I just thought it was funny because. Me and Brian were talking about it. I'm like, what happened? And then I'm coming across all these TikToks. First of all, there's people that don't even, don't even get like trick or treaters. There was this, um, there was this guy just waiting with his with his little bucket. He's like, he did not get like one trick or treater. <gasps> okay, that's tragic. And these are people that like are used to getting trick or treaters. I'm like, okay, going from having trick or treaters to nothing, that is like a little weird. I've always like dreamt of living in a like in a block on a block where like it gets crazy, mm-hmm. like. If you guys have been to Lincoln Square in Pomona, last year, it could have also been how last year was just crazy. Mm -hmm. But last year, I was just, like, flabbergasted. The streets were, like, completely blocked off. Like, people were walking on the street, like, packed as fuck with kids. And I don't know how it was this year, because obviously I didn't go. But, I I, like, literally, just being there last year, I was like, I want to buy a house on this block, bitch. I also read that trunk or treats are ruining it for the neighborhoods. Shut up. Yeah. I read that, yeah. I was like, is that really a thing? Trunk or treats? Because they're safer. Oh. They're safer and, like, you're not going to people's homes, like, knocking on a stranger's door. Okay. And they're all... And, you know, we went to a trunk or... Uh, we went to a police station yes. the day before Halloween. They had and it was treat. like this. Bitch, the line to get in was, like, over an hour long. It was, like, insanely long, but it went by fast because, like, people were, like, so the vibes though. were cool. 
Like you literally get all the candy you will get trick or treating for hours. Yes, and you're like the cars are right by each other. So I I blame the trunk or treats. You guys are ruining it for us. And uh, I'm I'm here for the trunk or treats, right? No, I'm it. trying to I'm trying to see how I can apply to have my I car there all decked out. Just think about it, Maya. Like when you're trick or treating, like you're going from door to door. Some cl- houses are a little farther from away from each other. Like you're doing that. Trunk yeah. or treat is like a foot away from each other. Each one. Yeah. With that being said, Halloween was yesterday. So this morning we were, we were struggling a little girl. When I tell you, I threw some concealer on, some mascara. I was we went like, to sleep late. We just we were at Myra's. Yes. We didn't even get lit at all. We were literally just talking. No, we were huh? just we just talking. We were just for talking hours. for hours. You know, Elizabeth, Crystal, Peter were over and stuff. We had so a we blast. Just, so we were just talking for hours. Like we could, we don't shut the fuck up when we hang out, guys. <laughs> so we were just like talking, she's and like. Before you know it, we were like, we got to go home. It's fucking two in the morning. We have to film tomorrow. Yes. But you know what? I actually, like, I missed filming in the day. Oh, my God. Yes. And, like, there was a time where, like, you know, because um, I don't know if y'all know this, but, like, all of Chins and Giggles, we've always aimed to film, like, at 11 a.m. Mm-hmm. or so. So, like, you know, we're getting up, like, at 9 or so to get ready and stuff by the time we start filming, etc. So it's, like, morning vibes almost, you know? Yeah. So with Skinny Tober, we were filming those like late at night. We were rapping sometimes like at midnight. Yeah, because we're trying to, you know, we're trying to take every obviously take everyone's schedules into consideration. You know, some of them like had work during the day and stuff. But today, like I'm with my coffee and I'm like, okay, let's get the day started with a podcast. It. it feels good. It's like I'm here for like the morning vibes right now. I, no, I like. I, I missed it. it. I love but, it. I just didn't have time to get ready. Like, oh, bitch, me either. I was like, girl, we. I just had some pozole too. My mom made pozole yesterday, so we had some leftovers. Um, I didn't even do my hair this morning. I'm just morning. tired. I didn't, I didn't have the energy to get ready, queen. I know. I did my makeup so fast. I didn't do my hair. I actually, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but I still have like a little bit of white on my hair because I was an old lady. <gasps> Oh, you were. Because um, Mia was Little Red Riding Hood. Raul yes. was the wolf and I was the old lady. So I put literally like, you know that one, like that white grease Halloween makeup? Yeah. I put that and I rubbed it all oh. over my hair. Oh. So uh, Myra, I that literally like, worst. I literally shampooed my hair like three times in the shower. Because I, cause I kept asking Raul, like, is it still there? He's like, it's still like in your hair. So I was like going crazy. And I got most of it out, but it probably doesn't even pick up on camera. But like, you could see that I still have white. You see it? I have a little bit of white in the hair, oh, that but so hard. and then I didn't have time to fucking do my hair this morning. So she's, you know, she's, she's giving, she's cute. She's giving volume a little bit without the headphones, but I, love the volume. I was able to get ready real quick. And then like, you know, I'm here for like the cozy vibes. Yes. I wanted to talk, talk about our costume really quick. So we oh, were yeah, yeah. Ghostbusters and Noah was like the marshmallow. He looked so freaking cute. It's you so guys, adorable. my costume as I'm like, okay, I have had this pl- this costume planned for like a bit. Mm-hmm. So I was so excited. And I'm like, you know, we're hosting. So I'm like over here cleaning. I make sure everything's like prepped and nice. And then finally it's mama's turn to get ready. Finally Sheesh. the last person to get ready. And I'm like over here like putting my clothes on because I want to get a picture with my family. And my costume doesn't fit. I know. My costume, the material is like that like bag plastic material no. what would that co- you know what i mean right i know what you're talking about doesn't stretch a single bit you guys it was so tight on me i managed to put the zipper up but i just look like a square you know when you wear like <laughs> fine not the square like kind of like sometimes what fajas do and they, they end up making it look more boxy than yeah i look like that bye girl and no and then brian's like it's fine like just keep it on i'm like no if i sit down it's going to rip so i wore it for the picture i was super uncomfortable i was fine with it though i'm like you know what last year i didn't dress up i didn't have an issue with it Mm -hmm. but i think i was just like so stressed out at first i'm like my family picture i'm like this is literally like noah's first christmas i wanted us to all match first christmas First Christmas? I'm thinking about Christmas, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was first Halloween. Yeah. Y'all know what I mean. I mean, the picture came out iconic. Nobody knew you couldn't breathe. I I know, well, I nobody knew that my freaking zipper was about to burst. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bye. That's but, funny. yeah, that was Halloween for us. That was Halloween, guys. Merry freaking Christmas, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Guys, and you know what's crazy? I mean, we don't want to ramble about Halloween and stuff. It's just I feel like there's so many updates just like over the weeks you know yeah but like even um you know how i had like raved about the oogie boogie bash you guys <gasps> i actually 
did not end up going to the Oogie Boogie Bash. If y'all saw, I did get my tickets back in June or July, whenever the fuck they went up for sale. I think it was June. And guys, the day came up. I could talk about it now because thank God this person is doing so much better. But we actually, um, the day that we were getting ready for the Oogie Boogie Bash, you guys, um, Raul's grandma was in the hospital. She's actually still in the hospital, but she's doing so much better. That's so um, good. And that's also why I missed um, Lillian Bay's um, Halloween event in Texas. Mm-hmm. Um, I had posted like on Instagram, but thank God she's doing so, so well. Thank God. You guys, Raul's grandma is 93 years old. This woman wow. is made of steel, Myra. Like, it's shocking. Like, this woman, like, she's a queen. What a queen. She is like, she's such an icon. But um, she had gotten, she had gotten really sick and she was in the hospital and, you know, of course, that's why we were like, we're not going to Texas anymore. Like we wanted to be here with family. And then also that day of the Oogie Boogie Bash, she just like got really sick. Like, you know, like it wasn't looking good. So I told Myra, I was like, you know, I'm about to just lose these tickets. Like, just go. So Myra went to the Oogie Boogie Bash. Yeah, it started at six, and I think Karina literally told me like at six p.m. I was well, like, Myra, oh my I, god, Myra, when I called you, I was about to take off to Disneyland, and yeah. Raul got a call from his family, and like they were all, you know. Yeah. But oh my god! But thank God, and like the only reason I'm even mentioning it is obviously she's doing so much better now. So we're just so grateful. But thank you guys for those of you guys that reached out because like I had just posted something like vague on Instagram, like oh you know something on Raul's side of the family, like family emergency. Mm-hmm. But she's, like, a queen. Like, that woman is an icon. If you guys have seen, she came out on, like, one of our uh, TikToks where she was, like, testing the slime. Mm. Girl's grandma, she's a, she's a freaking queen. But she's doing so much better, guys. So thank you for everybody, like, who reached out and stuff. But mm. just wanted to mention that. So just, like, an update. Yeah, like, yeah. Oogie Boogie and all that. Vibe, so but. I went to the Oogie Boogie Bash and replacement. And honestly, it was fun. So she told me at 6 p.m. So me and Brian, like, I don't know how we got ready so quick. But I think I took off, like, exactly like at seven yeah you took off like right away and we got there like a little bit before eight so the oogie boogie bash was from six to eleven eleven so it went by fast i'm sure for you so it went by fast by the time we got there restaurants were closed so it was just it was just uh baker bakeries no like the cafes it was just not bakeries i feel like cafes you know like i feel like if you don't know like where the good spots spots are at you're probably like oh, i went like, get, thinking like, when i get the quesadilla tacos oh and they were like it's closed and i was like okay let's go to another restaurant closed bye Absolutely. and they're like we just have pure cafes open right now and i was like <gasps> but you know what i feel like you guys don't know disneyland um like the little so like what would gems be a spot? that's the thing a lot of little cafes and stuff you like unless you don't know like the like like the little gems of like you know where like yeah cool like little foods are at you probably wouldn't know where to look and i feel like that's the thing with theme parks because when i first started going to disneyland like i was like this is literally like cafeteria food like it's kind of just you know but once i started looking on tiktok and seeing like what people eat ate at disneyland you find really good spots myra oh. like even like um one of the cafes Right there on Main Street, like those two cafes, like they have really good food and stuff. It's just that, mm. you know, you guys probably were like, where do we like go and stuff? But well, we had fun. We went. Um, we didn't dress up, but it was fun. Like Queen. we definitely enjoyed it. We saw the parade. Queen. But that was the one thing I was like, oh, my God, Queen, I think all the restaurants are closed. But I'm, I don't go to Disneyland like that. I've only gone twice with yeah, Noah. Even like the little booths, though, like the like they have there's some really cool spots for food. But it was fun. That's why I want to go together one day. And I'm really grateful that I went because I know getting Oogie Boogie tickets in general. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I remember being in line, like online, Mm -hmm. and we just never got them. And you guys did. So when you told us, I was like, we have to go. But I feel like I'm like, I did a lot of, we took Mia to a lot of things this year. Like, I don't feel like I missed out a lot. I'm like, next year, you know, God willing, Mm -hmm. like, we'll go to the Oogie Boogie Bash. That part. But anyways, we don't want to ramble too much about like Halloween and all that jazz. Let's talk about so, Christmas. Uh, oh my god! No, the fact that Christmas is here. Okay, man. so October thirty first, I'm in the Halloween spirit. November first, it's Christmas. Mariah Carey defrosted. Mm-hmm. Do you so, see her TikTok? Yeah, she's an actual queen. <coughs> are you like? Are you the kind to keep up your fall decor till Thanksgiving, or do you just? Because this, how I view it. Fuck. Right. Christmas, no, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Oh yeah, like Thanksgiving Day, I might pull out the turkey, but the turkey's not staying out that whole month. Okay, 
Mm-hmm. But you know what? Like, I kind of do, like, want to live, mm-hmm. you know, in school, like, Thanksgiving, like, the tur- like they did have, like, the leaves. They had, like, the turkeys. I like that. Well, I got to say, I'm in the middle, Myra, because I do like the idea of, like, when I think of Thanksgiving, I think of turkeys. But also when I think of Thanksgiving and I imagine, like, a Christmas tree, I'm like, that's so iconic. Yeah, but, that's iconic, right? Because you're like, we're going into, like, the Christmas spirit with the turkeys out, but, like, we got a Christmas tree going. The holidays are here. Holiday vibes. But at the same time, like, you kinda I don't want to save the tree for Christmas. Yeah, like, I, I actually like the idea of stuff like this. Like, I like the idea of, like, Halloween's over. Put the spooky away. But, like, leave out the fall vibes because, like, the turkey, you know, Thanksgiving, like, for me, like, I, I, I just get excited Day about, like, cooking and stuff. Fall. For sure. Very fall. Like, I get, I, I actually, I feel like as an adult now, like, getting more into the kitchen i actually get like a lot more excited about thanksgiving now like i love christmas oh my god like christmas tops everything yeah um as i feel like as a kid i didn't really i i like thanksgiving for the food but i didn't care about it as much but like now as an adult like actually being in the kitchen and like making the turkey and shit like that i actually get really like i'm actually really excited about like friendsgiving or like thanksgiving coming up like thinking about like making food and stuff like i'm excited me too i think Honestly, the like I kind of want to. It's I, hard. I'm when actually you're in the middle. Up on of, I'm actually and, trying to get a new um, dining table, like the no. the formal dining table, because my mom, um, she recently got rid of hers. Well, because my mom, my mom's okay. My mom's what tra- style's changing, now? Queen. Nothing. The treadmill. <gasps> Is that what I saw at in the garage? The no, dining I think, table. I think she was like gave it to her friend or something. I saw the base of it. Oh, I don't know. I think she was giving it away, though. She, my mom didn't what do want you guys anyone. Eat? Oh, one other one. There's the other one. But, like, the formal one, my mom's style is, like, really different. Like, it started off really different years ago. So, oh, so she now put, she put, you know, the, like, the the wood one that's, like, the, you know, like, the old The school. very Mexican traditional. Like, with, uh, with the china cabinets and stuff, you know, like yeah. those. Um, But she got rid of the table, so I kind of want to put a new, a whole new dining. What's like, the vibes? I don't know, Queen, but. I'm thinking like right since I'm doing that right now, I'm like I want to decorate it like for Thanksgiving and stuff, and like oh, you know, like the I vibes. Love that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna lean towards turkey energy, turkey energy for the and then the day after I'm Thanksgiving. asking the vibes for the table, <laughs> and you're like turkey vibes, imagine. Yeah, and then the day after Thanksgiving, like we'll bring out the Christmas tree. Mm. That's what you I'm know, I feel like that's like the that's kind of like the vibe to do, you know, like the rule, the like, rule. Like you take out the tree after, like when you Black Friday shopped, that is iconic. Oh, bitch! Black Friday is a Stop whole other it. vibe. I feel like Black Friday is just part of the tradition already. With I just feel like Thanksgiving. I, I'm kind of tripped out that we're like in November because I really feel like the year flew by. I don't understand, Myra. When it's people so say, weird. When people say that the years just fly by, like that that time just flies. Like you know that? when I feel like time flies when you're like a fresh mom, like a new mom. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like if you have a baby out there, you're constantly reminded of how fast time is flying. Well, I think and that doesn't end. Yeah. It's not just like fresh. I think that every parent, even looking at their 20 year old or their 30 year old kid, they're thinking like you were just a fucking baby and now you're an adult. You don't is think our parents me as like second that? or third Halloween? This is her third Halloween. <gasps> this was her third one because um, when you know she was born in twenty twenty one, so she was like six months, and then uh, last year one and a half, and then two and a half. So yeah, wow. it's crazy. It flies by. It's my just own. so wild. Like I'm gonna have a three year old soon. I don't understand. That is great. Three years old. Like that's a whole kid. Yeah, fly, time fucking flies by. Isn't that crazy, guys? Like, how are we going into 2024? I don't get it. Don't say that. That's crazy. I don't understand. Like, it's crazy. 2024? Myra, it's 2023 now. <gasps> OMG. So okay, weird, I don't. Huh? That's so weird. I know. Time you flies know you by, bitch. It's, it's a blessing to see a new year, period. Yeah. It's just like, absolutely crazy. My mind is stuck a lot at, in 2021. Oh, so I'm like, whoa, to be in 2024 is kind of like, uh, time is just time is just flying, going, 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 bitch. It's crazy. It's so crazy. But oh, my God. Wait, the other Los Muertos is November 2nd, which to us is tomorrow. 
And are you doing an ofrenda? I want to, Maya. And yeah. I'm literally thinking, I'm like, it's literally uh, tomorrow. So um, I actually, today, uh, right after this, I think I'm going to go get, I was at Gardenas the other day. And they had like the flowers and everything. I really want to do one. Okay, so Dia de los Muertos is Day of the Dead. It's like, so, you know, if you're not familiar with it, watch the movie Coco. <laughs> Yeah, watch the movie Coco, guys. Like, if you're not, if you don't know what the Animal Muertos really. is, the it explains it very dead, well. It, it describes it really well. Yes. So to me, it's like you you put up, you know, your loved one's picture. They say that you know, so they can cross over that you need a picture. I don't necessarily believe in that. I think like I like to think our loved ones are with us mm-hmm. always. Yeah. Um, but that's like what they say. But that's like the day that they're like among us, right? Yeah, you put out their favorite foods and it's just like, you know, obviously I'm not like a professional at that. There's people that go like all out with well, it. Well, in Mexico, Myra, um, obviously we we haven't spent um Day of the Dead there, but I'm also it's beautiful. I've heard it like so the beautiful. cemeteries, like people go and like, you know, there's like celebrating their loved ones and it's it's a very special day um is it like in the hispanic community in general obviously like to us you know we're mexican and it was huge in our culture so yeah it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing where you know okay it's the day of the dead and that's the day that it's believed for them to like cross over and be with their yes. lo- our loved ones yeah you have to watch the the, the movie coco is like a good ex- it's a so good beautiful that movie dia de los muertos is a traditional fiesta in honor of the deceased that is celebrated in mexico and other parts of latin america on number on on november 1st and 2nd november 1st and 2nd okay the holiday is celebrated through ritual observations like constructing altars filled with offerings to the dead and decorating family gravesides to commune with the dead so and then they use that one flower and i started doing ofrendas uh till like when i lost my son Mm -hmm. uh literally the year like um that month Uh that no the month after Mm -hmm. and um i thought it was beautiful you because it's it's a way of remembering them Mm -hmm. you put out i remember putting out I still had obviously breast milk that I had pumped. So I remember like warming up his milk and putting like a little cookie. And, and mm. for me, I'm like, I know you're like, he was like a baby. Mm. I'm like, you're a baby, but enjoy that cookie. <laughs> you know, mm, yeah. you, you can have anything you want. And then yeah. the second year, last year, I did the same thing with him. I still, I till this day have breast milk in the freezer that was his. So I warm up like his breast milk. Yeah. And... Yeah. I mean, you got another cookie. Day last of the year. dead and like food and stuff. It's so significant. I've noticed yes. like for for the other muertos because yeah, people will put out like their favorite foods or they have like the the pan de muerto, they, which is literally translated to you guys. Like if you go like to a Mexican grocery store, they have bread that is literally translated to bread for the dead. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like it, it's it's yeah, like the food thing too, and putting like all their favorite foods and stuff. I might actually do this later today because. I don't like when the day comes and I'm struggling finding the flowers because they're really difficult to find the day of. Go to Cardenas. Yeah. We have a well, lot of the- left a lot at the house, but I was supposed to take it to my mom. <gasps> Forgot. Oh, yeah. I want to I want to make one right here. Yeah, but I and I want to make it like with like all the family. I feel like the past couple of years I was really focused on just like Brian Tito, but I feel like I actually really want to put effort into making something nice like yes. at the house. I'm going to work on that today, too. Oh, I love that. Should I want to put it right here where the shelves are at right here in the. Oh, the kitchen that's where the thing, beautiful. I think that would be perfect. But we have a little segment, and it is holiday theories. Okay, so these are theories that you know theories. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So theory number one: October, November, and December are the weekend months of the year. So think oh, about shit. okay, like Friday, Saturday, and it's Sunday. True, bitch. So this is this is what I want to get your input. Uh huh. October is friday of the year when the holiday season is just starting you're in party mode okay november saturday of the year more wholesome really in the holiday spirit december sunday of the year starting to feel like the stress of holiday season don't want it to end trying to fit every bit of the holiday feelings as trying to fit every bit of the holiday feelings as possible so okay Okay, okay. I think, actually, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I think, like, Halloween is Thursday. 
Because Halloween, a lot of the times, is a school night. And it's not a holiday where people take days off. Bitch, you're still working. Ha- thir- Halloween is a Thursday, low key to me, too. Right? Yeah. Thanksgiving is a Friday, even though it's really on a Thursday, which is funny. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Why is that a thing? <laughs> it's always got to be on a Thursday. It's always like the last Thursday of the month or something like that. Right? I do think November, though. Or the is third. The third Thursday. November. Fourth Thursday? I don't fucking know. November is the start of the holiday season. And what is Friday? The start of the weekend. I think it's a Friday. Okay. You know what's crazy to me? Okay. This is my theory on that. It makes sense. Like when you're describing it, I'm like, oh shit. It kind of is the weekend of, yeah, of, you know, you know, uh, hypothetically calling it like the weekend of the year. Yeah. Um, but the way I actually see it, I feel like a lot of people would see summer as like a weekend in itself. Okay. And when the holidays come, yes, it's it's a lot of like cool stuff happening. But I feel like a lot of people are also like, all right, party's over, like family time, yeah. family, calm, chill, baby making and shit. Mm-hmm. I feel like people think like that because like they think they're like, OK, hot girl summer, like party it up. And then it's like, all right, here come the holidays. Here comes cozy season. Like really like it's not chill because it's like a lot of chaos. Mm-hmm. But it kind of almost feels like Sunday. I don't know. I don't know, actually, but you're right. So, I, yes, like, the we- I could see the weekend thing with this. Yeah, month. so November, to me, I feel like would be a Friday. It's a start of the weekend. December, baby, it's Saturday. No, but Mario, <laughs> fr- like, think about spooky season in general. All of October, it's giving Friday. It is giving Friday. It's I Friday. think the way this is organized is good because, let's be real, the end of the year is a Sunday. Cause let's switch it up because, in reality, like, I don't want to be, like, annoying and switching days up, but... Halloween vibes, October feels like Friday, Thanksgiving feels like Sunday, and Christmas feels like Saturday. Have you heard of the months, like what they feel like? Or oh, like like um like January, like Monday. January is definitely a Monday. <laughs> it's the start of everything. It is. And it's actually like refreshing. I feel like when I wake up on January 1st, it's different. It's like, all right, rebirth. I it's a rebirth. rebirth. 100 like, percent. it's a start of know, like starting fresh everybody's trying to think positive and being like it's the beginning of the year you have so many goals and you're thinking you're positive mm-hmm. i think i that's a, such a refreshing feeling i think like january mm-hmm. like the beginning at least mm-hmm. and then february hits and it's like all right february is like a but wouldn't like every holiday be like monday tuesday wednesday thursday because february is a tuesday to me February is our birthday. Yeah, she still feels like a Tuesday. She does feel like a Tuesday. <laughs> we don't care about her birthday like that. So sad. No, our, our birthday is very special. We don't care to like celebrate, like party and stuff like that, I guess. Um, I mean, our 30th is coming up. <gasps> don't say that. Speak OMG. for yourself. Imagine us it. OMG. I, I love my birthday. No, I love it. I'm just saying we're not like big celebrators. Honestly, Myra, I feel that. We think a little differently. I I am a celebrated celebration queen. I love birthdays. I love my birthday. I wish I could travel the fucking world on my birthday. I wish we could do others. Like it's just that sometimes you know we're like, all right, what yeah. do we do, queen? Yeah, what should we do? Should we just do this? Should we do that? You know. Mm-hmm. So, I feel you. I feel you. Okay, so yeah, that that's so funny. That's cool though. That's I I feel like that a lot of people would agree. It feels like a weekend of the year yeah. for sure. There's so much going on. Definitely. Theory number two, Hallmark movie life fantasy. Holiday season is when you most get the urge to live out your movie life fantasy, move to a different country, live in a small town and get away from the city, own a bed and breakfast or bakery, etc. So I feel like the Hallmark movies do make me think I'm living like a really different life and I got to live like a movie. I'm like, okay, now I got to go ice skating. Now I got to move to like pennsylvania or something where oh their God. leaves are leaving you know, le- leaves are the leaving fall is, <laughs> fall is falling no i know what you mean because i every time like gro- like literally growing up i always saw the hallmark hallmark movies and seeing the beautiful. snow my dream has uh, always been to have a white christmas always. if there's one thing that has made me want to move is Hall- hallmark movies because there is nothing more beautiful than waking up to snow. I, I can imagine. On Christmas Day? Not just that. I really think that. Snow in general. Huh? I My soul was meant to live like not in the, not 
I feel like even even where we're at, we're not like in LA, but every life is still fast paced. I mean, Myra, technically we are like I mean, if you tell anybody that's not in California where you're from, you're gonna be like, Well, LA, because we're what, fucking an hour down the road? Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, like No, I get you. So for technically, me technically L LA County is like if 20, my 30 family, minutes away. If my family was just down to do the move girl Karina, i know that my soul is meant to live like in a small town in a small town where There's fall snow. is falling where it snows where i get all seasons yes and i and i do not mind walking to the grocery store it feels it sounds to, amazing myra it sounds amazing until you're living it. i'm sure can i get an opinion from people that actually live in those areas because you have to remember like california is so expensive for a reason so expensive because we don't we don't have all the seasons and we we've you know we obviously we crave all the seasons i'm just trying to be a small town girl ah! <laughs> that's funny no i just hallmark movies it's y'all's oh, yeah. fault uh, for me like no i know what you mean like i i just want to live somewhere where it snows and like fully experience like the christmas i want to live in a in a you could in California, Myra. We have it all. Small we have town beach. where you know everybody. Okay, like, but you think about it. California does have everything. Like, it really yes, does. It does. You got a beach, bitch, and you drive thirty minutes out and you get snow. Like, on I some mean, real yeah, shit. that's crazy. Like, we could live in Big Bear. Imagine, like, I love Big Bear. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. This time of year, it can be a lot, and it's natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about it. But adding something new and positive to your life can counteract some of those feelings. Therapy can be a bright spot among all of the stress and change. Something to look forward to to make you feel grounded and give you the tools to manage everything going on. As the holidays approach, although a lot of us do see it as merry and bright, with the holidays comes a lot of stress, a lot of change. And there's also seasonal depression, which is very real for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all know I've done therapy and it's helped a lot. And during the holiday season, I think it is important because the emotions are everywhere, girl. And not just seasonal depression, because that is a very big thing. But also in general, with the holidays, they're so stressful. There's so much going on. We could all use a little bit of therapy. And we've always said this. And it's a fact, y'all. Everybody could benefit from therapy. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It is entirely online, you guys, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule, which is amazing because, you know, a lot of times you don't want to leave your house. And even the whole in-meeting thing is so intimidating. So being online is incredible. Yes, that was my favorite part, not having to leave my home and just be, even like if you don't want to see them face to face, just that get part. on a call mm -hmm. and I'm just a lot more comfortable. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Because you don't always click with a therapist. So yes. the fact that you could just change them whenever is perfect. Mm -hmm. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Chins and Giggles today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Chins and Giggles. I watch a lot of, this is how I feel like I just, I just know like, I just this is just how I've always been. I watch like um a lot of videos of like you know moms just like at home cleaning and that I know they don't live in California. Like I just Bye. these houses are just like and they're, they're just built different. And they're just built the structure of them, right? They're built differently. Oh, like Texas home Texas homes how they're like built with brick girl i think it's beautiful you go the out style, to the backyard huh? and like like they don't have a lot of neighbors i mean myra technically i mean technically you live <laughs> technically i live in texas imagine like where see that i like Riverside, that though. texas same thing I'm just imagine. see see that's when i'm like i gotta compromise because i like trick-or-treating i like why no because but i like that part this. Myra. okay i like being secluded i hate that i don't get a single fucking trick-or-treater not you know what? Not that's, one. But you gotta is, compromise because if you don't have neighbors and you, if you have a gated home and you feel like people are not, you gotta compromise. Like, do I have a gated home that not a lot of people can Why see from my... the front, or no, be love... close to every home? But like, you'll probably. Have I love where we live because it's not because we are like in a city basically. 
we're we're like in the suburbs. We're not in in LA. Yeah. Like when we were in downtown LA, bitch, you could hear the sirens all day. Yeah, no, no. Loud, no. loud, loud. Like I love it here. It's secluded enough. I don't get snow. But yeah. it, do you think like it's a natural thing to wanna live like Hallmark movies? I, no, because yeah. No. Is it Everybody like, wants to live like do I like actually like, is there like, it's a am I meant to, see. it's not real. Am I meant to move? Like Karina, I mentioned it too much okay, that I want to be living out there. Yes. Is that normal? It is normal, Myra. Do you but ever when, want to? Once you do get up and make that move, you're going to miss the luxury of like California. One day I'm just going to book a flight and not come back. <laughs> no, no. One day a I'm one way book flight. A one way flight. <laughs> Imagine one day I'm just going to book a flight. To Massachusetts, like wow, random. <laughs> and just look at houses. Bye. That's just my. I dream about that. Yes. I'm like, I just want to book a flight yeah, and go you look at could, homes. Like, if you really, you have your Texas Bye. fantasy, right? Is it Texas your fantasy, or which one is it? You know, them Texans houses look iconic, but it's not okay. They're gorgeous. They're it gorgeous. It just depends, Karina. I just remember one time when we had gone to Slimania, there was like <laughs> actual neighbors, there was grocery stores and everything. Of course. So you just got to be like smart with where you move. Obviously, I don't want to be in an area where I'm going to drive an hour to freaking Target. Oh, of course. Yeah. Like there's got to be, there's got to be places where like things are near and you just, yeah. you just kind of hit jackpot on where you move. Yeah. But I know how I am like with my family. Oh my God. I would literally get depressed. 100 percent so i gotta convince everybody to move even with me if everybody <laughs> is out there i mean yeah it just depends i i i know i know I, I always look on zillow and i'm sure a lot of you guys could relate out of curiosity yeah like in just random cities or random states that you know are just a little cheaper I just than where you're really at feel you know? like california is so expensive okay i was literally seeing on tiktok well you see it everywhere how nowadays do like it's so hard to make it as an adult. It's so hard. You I know, heard nowadays it's really hard to even just, I mean, I mean, it's really hard to buy a it's home. It's really hard to even get out of your parents' house, Mario, nowadays. Back in the Super days, hard. I heard was more common to purchase a home. It was more common. Now it's why, almost impossible. That's why when my parents came on the podcast, I told my mom, I was like, I was like, nowadays, like, it's like, it feels nearly impossible for people to leave their parents' houses and buy a house. A lot of millennials are like, well so likely expensive. not own a house it's fucking tragic and i'm always like well back then it was hard to blah 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 i'm like i understand but the fact that like like you know like a lot of you know a lot of people even like pro's parents like they've always worked you know regular jobs our parents always worked regular jobs and every and they all were eventually able to buy homes you know mm -hmm. like yes it was still really hard you know of course to buy houses but i feel like now like it feels nearly making impossible. It impossible. Two people will be will be um you know working full time, like you and your partner will be working full time, and it's just insanely expensive. And I think that's also why a lot of people are moving out of California too. I mean, yeah. I'm sure this is, inflation is everywhere. Yes, it's everywhere. Even Texas, like when we were talking about it last time, where we were like, oh my god, houses are so cheap in Texas. People were like, actually, it's getting fucking expensive out here too. You know, yeah, like everywhere. Like, when I bought this house, it was a lot, you know, cheaper and stuff. But houses right now, Myra, are through the fucking roof. I it's remember, I just, I just wish I would have bought a house in 2017. That's Imagine. what I have my mind. When I think about, like, when I used to look at houses in 2017, Karina, I was looking at huge houses for even less of what, like, my house would have purchased. I bought my house purchased. in 2017. That's when I bought my house. And it was a great year to buy a house, Queen. No, and I always think I'm like, uh, I... I think houses right now, I think they've even gone more up. Yeah, I, they're crazy I bought my house right in 2022, now. and I still think it was, for me having to, like, yeah. remodel everything, I'm just like, no mames. And the, what I was looking at in 2017, I mean, brand new builds, huge. Yeah. And even, even, even like, houses then they're that so I would look at that were so right huge. Now. Like, they weren't even that crazy expensive. I know. That's why, like, right now, like, the house has gone up so much that, whenever i think about like spontaneously because you know like no matter how much you love your home you're always yes. thinking like should i move and stuff you know so whenever i think of that i'm like yes i would i would profit so amazing because yeah like i got my house at a really good time mm -hmm. like the profit would be it was a, it's a great business move but at the same time i'm like i sell this house great business move but then i buy a house that's probably gonna be the same amount and be like a third of the size you know 
Like, let's be real, you know, because houses nowadays are, yeah, they're so fucking expensive, Myra. Yeah. Like, crazy. What would you say going back on the Hallmark movie? Like, what I love you watch. Like, we're on a whole ass tangent bye. on this, this theory. I look so crazy. Imagine You're <laughs> just fine. myself, man. I literally, like, I love the cozy vibes right now. Like, I'm wearing, like, the fur and all. Not fur, <laughs> not fur, but, you know, like, the coziness. I love it, but it's literally adding, like, 20 pounds to me right now. <laughs> like, I, I try not to look at the viewfinder because I look huge. Do you want to? I'm like, all right, come no, on. I, it's the hair and makeup for me. Me, like why Bye. what the hell is going on with my You're hair fine, queen. <laughs> guys we've had a rough morning you imagine right Anyways. um when i watch a hallmark movie it's all a fantasy, i want Mara. to make hot chocolate i want to go ice fantasy. skating and i do i know damn right those single ladies are trying to find their love in the holidays it's a, it's all a fantasy myra everything looks better in movies Nuh -uh, like, not if you live in pennsylvania I'm no but <laughs> you, have you seen people like actually talk about how it could be miserable because you're like, yes, the snow's iconic. I can't leave my fucking house to go to the grocery store. Well, you know, I'll tell you what you could do. Make hot chocolate and watch the movies. <laughs> what if you don't have hot chocolate? You have to go to the grocery store. You have to defrost the car. You got to make sure your windows, you know, you can't, take all knock, the snow. Until you can't knock it till you try it. Take all the snow uh, out of the driveway. No, yeah, it sounds iconic. But I remember when we went to Big Bear, was it last year? When we went to Big Bear, Myra, just that one weekend in Big Bear. We couldn't go to the fucking grocery store. Everybody was starving because we couldn't go to the grocery store because we didn't have a shovel to get the cars out of the fucking driveway. And that was us there for like two days. You remember? Uh, and we were like, what the fuck are we going to do? There's no food. That was us there for three days. Queen. And now you? It's getting snowed in is a real thing. Comment down below, guys. And that's iconic. I mean, fuck, I love the snow. I wish. I, dude, the fantasy but White they're not Christmas. getting snowed in every time it snows. They're not, Myra. But I think that like a Californian... You would learn so much in that fucking year. You'd be like, oh, shit, I need shovels. I Any need this, Californians I need that. that have moved out there, how do you like it? Yeah. I mean, it sounds iconic, it does. Would it be wild? Like, would it, like, if I did it, right, it wouldn't have you guys thinking maybe I'll try to go out. Oh, if you move, if you got house in Texas, Myra, I would, if you were like, I'm going like, to go look at houses in like Texas, I'd be like, I'm booking my flight. I'll go with you to look houses too. Oh! Myra, I swear I would 100% go out there yeah, and look at them Yeah, because I'm too. like, damn, I would I would want, like, I just think, should we go? I was getting like, why? You know Bye. what? I, I think I, I think life is so short. Like, not us going from Hallmark to <laughs> I'm trying to move. Okay, man. talking about life is short. I saw a TikTok. Girl, uh, I know we are everywhere today. I know this is a huge tangent. <laughs> we ain't even done with these theories, girl. It's okay. I know we're like one giant fucking tangent on this podcast. Like that's literally what we consist of. But tangent queens. No, literally. But speaking of that, and that's so true. You need to live your fucking life, you guys. Because I saw a TikTok that said, you know, if you're like, you know, just in general, just capable, like 20s, 30s, 40s, even 50s, you know, time is literally flying by. And it's just passing you by. And you're going to look back, for example, in your 20s, 30s, 40s, you know, still young. You're going to look back one day and be like, I was so young. I was in my 20s. I was at my peak. I was thriving. And I was afraid to to dare, to just dare mm -hmm. myself to do stuff. And you're going to be like, you're going to look back and be like, oh, that's me in my 20s. I was that bitch. Like, not as in like, I'm not talking about physical. I'm talking about you were so young. You had the world at your fingertips mm -hmm. and you were too scared to get out, get out there. Yeah, I, this is how I see You're going to look back and be like, bitch, you should have been like, just taking the world and made it yours. That's what I, how I think. So do it. Yes. Know? I want to so bad live that fantasy. Oh, here Why? we go back. Here we go. Back to Pennsylvania. I imagine I was <laughs> No, no. She's like, I need my house. And do you want to go to Pennsylvania or Texas? Make it back up in mind. Imagine like, why? Or what you say? Was it I don't know where I want to go, girl. She's like, I'm just trying to get the fuck out of here. Imagine I like, just want to be a Texas girl uh, no bye. texas i just because i feel like i hear a lot about like texas mm -hmm. i need to Listen, do my research i will say though that if, if i if i had to move to like another state i think texas texas would call my name because there's a lot of latinos out there yeah like i can't imagine another state where i'm gonna be like being called out at the grocery store i'm scared yeah like i feel <laughs> like texas like i mean it just depends like where okay serious question because myra does talk about moving out <laughs> to texas a lot what is stopping you? I don't think anything is stopping me, Queen. Because, Myra, like, we are so blessed to have the job we have. You could make your videos in Texas. 
you know what that's one thing that i'm like let's do makeup is in texas Mm-hmm. and she's one of the few influencers that has not came out to california and she's thriving she's there's like, people know? that have moved from la to texas or just like other places uh-huh. like um uh, what is it i have seen this family th- this couple that moved from california to texas and now they're in uh now they're back in texas yeah. no they're like in a different i don't know if it's pennsylvania or i'm somewhere somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. and like ah i love their content it's just different you know what it is every influencer a lot of influencers they think that they're like i need to move to la because that's where everybody's at and that's where i'm gonna have opportunities and stuff the 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 beauty about the internet is that you can do it wherever you're at you don't have to be in la Mm -hmm. and honestly like yeah of course there's a lot of events here but you do not have to be at her and i feel like a lot of people that move we're out here just because we were raised out here if, you, if I think about what's really stopping me, it's 100% my family. I think if my family made up their mind and was like, we're going here, I'd be like, let's go. Packing my bags. I'm not questioning it. I'm going with you. Okay. So I got to convince my family to move first before I do it. You know what's also like... Um, and I just, <laughs> I'm all if, looking at you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, first of all, I would not force my family to get up. If I had like, fam- I get it. Okay, so we, do, we do have like some like relatives in Texas. Like, you know, our madrina and our padrino are out there. But unfortunately, so unfortunately, we don't see them as often. Yeah. But like, if I had like, you know, for example, like my parents in Texas, it would be so easy. Oh, of course. To just be like, um, I'd be like, buy a house over there, and maybe even commute back and forth. You know, mm-hmm. like, um, but yeah, it's hard. But you know, yeah, that's whatever, just like bye. shit we think about. You know, yeah. Oh my god. Well, my we think about what we're doing it's anywhere. Eh? Anywhere that the prices are lower than southern california because i've even seen like bakersfield and like i i'm like yeah i have some friends out in bakersfield but like i'm like do i want to move out there it's only like a three hour drive two three hour drive but i can't do it because i'm like it's so far out from like here so it's just like uh, if i can't do that can i do another state shit you know oh that's Cause bakersfield too like you see the houses and you're like oh shit. i'm very Im- impulsive too where i'm like oh i'm gonna do it one day and i'm gonna be like what the hell did i do yeah yeah but what is the next theory girl not us like literally going off a million tangents on theories so theory number three on holidays there are there's a theory that there are three types of holiday personalities yeah that's true number one is the traditionalist mm-hmm. traditionalists tend to value familiarity routine and predictability around the holidays they enjoy feeling rooted to the tradition, which gives this time of the year more purpose and meaning for them. You know, sometimes they end up doing things primarily because it's the way it's always been done. Mm-hmm. So more traditional, you're like, I grew up doing this, like this is the way it's done, and that's how yeah. you do the holidays. And then there's a second personality, which is the celebrationist. Celebrationists tend to value spontaneity. They tend to be spontaneous. You know, they're people pleasing, gift giving. They like to celebrate and may feel pressure to make sure that others are having a good time. Uh, sometimes they may throw caution to the wind, especially when it comes to spending money. So they're more about like people pleasing. I got to give people stuff, hosting and <laughs> it's very <laughs> celebrationist. Like, you know, they're hosting, they're trying to celebrate and they're willing to spend money to like please people and stuff. So there's those people. And then there's a traditionalist that's like, you know, they're doing the traditional way. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a connectionist. Connectionists tend to value togetherness. They're social, extroverted, and can't imagine why anybody would ever want to be alone during the holidays. They enjoy getting together with family and friends, but can also feel a sense of obligation to do so. And they may end up spending time. They might. They may end up spending time with people they don't necessarily like or get along with. Ooh. So, do you feel that you're the traditionalist, the celebrationist, or the connectionist? Traditionalist. <laughs> Say that again. So the traditionalists, they tend to value uh, familiarity. Yeah, so that's things me. you're familiar with, you know, you you like a routine when it comes to holidays. Yeah, you know, you you like it to be predictable. I'm definitely not the kind that's like going on like freaking to Hawaii or something on Christmas. Okay, so I'm a traditionalist for sure. You feel rooted to the tradition, 100%. you know. Um, you do things primarily because it's the way it's always been yeah that's me so maybe you're like there's people that hate turkey but you're like we gotta make turkey it's fucking thanksgiving so you know yep 
But let me tell you, you're not doing it right if it's dry. You know what I mean? Right? And let me watch tell you, Karina, my Karina got to make it for you. Eh? Guys, watch my turkey recipe. It's actually on my stories. Like, it's like a highlight. Oh. <laughs> on my Instagram. Oh, that's iconic. <laughs> right? Like, I'm going to make a TikTok this year about it. Oh, right? yes. Because, bitch, when I'm telling y'all. Yeah, but you got to make that, like, weeks before right, my turkey. When my turkey comes out the oven, guys, she's literally swimming. Mm-hmm. Swimming. In what? In the fucking juice. Mm-hmm. No, the juice at the bottom? Okay. Um, so yeah, and you know the celebration is okay. I feel like I'm kind of split between all these because the celebration is is very gift giving. They're people pleasing. Mar- they're very merry. Um, they like to celebrate, and they might even feel pressure of others having a good time. Mm, actually, no, no. Mm, I'm yes. I, I, of course I, I yes. I'm, if you're at my house, I want you to have a good time. But it's more about like for me, like about the t- togetherness. So it's like I also feel like I'm a connection. I'm gonna have a little bit of each. I'm a little bit of all of these because I love the togetherness and I like to be, I, I love having like family around, mm-hmm. but I also don't want someone I don't like on holidays. Like, cause it says that you might have people. I don't that, think we've ever had people we don't like. No. Um, celebration is, you know, I gift giving. I just like any of my family. I think I'm, um, I'm, I'm all of them. Honestly, I love traditional Christmas. Okay, that's that's it. <laughs> no, no. Okay, you know Christmas with the cranks when they just decide they're gonna go to like where are they going? Uh, oh, when they when they're going on a vacation, or well, they're thinking of going on vacation. I never understood that. I yeah, because well, that's the thing, Myra. We never understood it because we don't actually live the white Christmas fantasy. People who are in the snow. Maybe they're thinking like, I want Christmas in Palm Springs. And they're thinking like, mm. you know, they think thinking warm weather and stuff. Because for them, because for us, we're like, oh, a fantasy. That's a fantasy. That's iconic. You know, that's yeah. that's the the Christmas miracle. Christmas just, for the cranks made it seem like it wasn't normal. <laughs> they oh were very God. judged by their neighbors. <laughs> that movie is my, my favorite, favorite my Christmas favorite. movie of all time. Christmas so I, I will say I'm very traditional. Uh-huh. Baby, you're going to tell me I can't have a Christmas tree? Get out. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that part. Like, you That's got me fucked my, up. What is your holiday tradition? I just want to hear it. My holiday tradition? I don't know. See, I feel like... You have the same traditions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like as an adult, like... Is there, like, a new tradition you want to bring on to Mia? Um, I don't know. Wait, can I can I say kind of what I think are new, like, the past few years, what it's been? What? We kind of started opening presents... The, oh, the 25th okay, okay. okay see that's a good one because it's very not mexican of us i'll tell you that okay this is the thing i one tradition for sure is i will always celebrate christmas on the 24th uh-huh. just because like well for us we grew up always celebrating christmas eve to the, us that was christmas you know uh-huh. and our tradition growing up was always like you know you celebrate christmas eve and at midnight the kids open up their presents and the next day was literally nothing Christmas Day, the 25th, growing up as a kid, was, we did nothing. You just have leftovers and chill, right? As an adult, I still do those things. I celebrate the 24th because I think Christmas Eve is a beautiful day to have a dinner with everybody, you know, celebrate, you know, and like full-blown celebrate. If the kids are up, open up a couple presents. Yes. But now, the 25th, I'm like, I can't believe as a kid we didn't celebrate actual Christmas Day. Like, now I'm like... We're waking up, we're putting our Christmas PJs on, we're baking cookies all day, we're eating leftovers, and we're That's opening up and we're opening up the rest of the Christmas gifts Christmas morning. That's us as adults, because we didn't have an option as kids. Exactly. And I and and you know who started the opening Christmas in the morning? Oh. Christmas trees? Christmas <laughs> presents? Christmas presents? Luis. Because, because they had, had kids first. Kids first. Yes. And it makes so me when look I think back about Mara. The kids. It makes me look back <laughs> and I'm like, not all the freaking kids trying to stay up late till midnight. That to is actually so presents. sad because Noah's like freaking falling asleep at like nine. So I'm like, wait, I'm not going to have him up till 12 to open his gifts. Like what? Yeah. Mia, like I like if she's up by that time, I don't think she was up the last years. She would not make it till 12. But it's just funny because as kids, I actually remember like like waiting like, oh, my God, it's not 12 yet. I'm tired. Like I have to wait to open my presents at 12. And it's like. The fact that we had to wait, like, you know, at this point, like, just open, have them open it up at 10 p.m. if they want, like, mm-hmm. a present or two, and then have them open the rest in the morning, you know? Yes. 
But as a kid, it was really exciting to. If remember. my kid wants to stay up, I'm down for it. But yeah, also, of course. I think it's so cute. Like, uh, it's hard because like you want to be. Tra- I go back to I want to be traditional and open gifts at twelve. But I also feel like I want Noah to be up in the morning with his little PJs, like excited opening his presents. You could do both, yeah. For uh-huh. me, for me, it's like, okay, let me live my traditions, like on, um, you know, on December twenty fourth and the twenty fifth. We're celebrating with how other people would celebrate that we didn't, you know, like like the Christmas PJs of it all and all that. Yes, I like baking cookies and stuff on Christmas Day. Mm-hmm. Love like making gingerbread houses. Mm-hmm. And eating leftover tamales and stuff like that. That's my vibe. Mm-hmm. And my vibe is so calm that day, so chill that I don't even like, I wouldn't even put makeup on. It's more like just PJ vibe, super comfy. What is this? I think it's from one of the costumes, probably. And now you not but shoved in this couch. There's also like so much chaos around the holidays. That's just crazy. Yes. Okay, so I recently came across a TikTok of different families in Thanksgiving. <gasps> I love that. So you have like the average family. There's different people on Thanksgiving. Yeah, you have the average family that very family oriented, but they're like in comfortable clothes. They all bring their own like dish. Very that like bring your own dish and they'll have paper plates with cute little turkeys and my no might not even put the effort for the turkey plates. And she's cute and humble and they're having their Thanksgiving at like 1 p.m. Like that family. Okay. Right? Then there's the other family that is a little more, okay, let's dress up. Let's dress up. Then they got the the disposable plates with the turkeys on it. A little, they're, 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 they're a little more detailed with it. Okay. They have their table set up. <laughs> okay. They might be having dinner at like 7 p.m. Uh-huh. But they're still not with like the table where like they're table not getting the, they're not doing all like the glass plates or anything like okay. that. But they're putting some effort to, you know, dress up. Mm-hmm. But it's still like chill vibes. Like they're still accepting dishes randomly. Like they might even they might even go to Costco and buy like a homemade mac and I mean uh, um, buy a uh, made already like mac and cheese. Okay, That's they're they're so open lovely. to bringing like dishes already made. And then you got the family. That doesn't let any host bring their dinner. They want to host all Thanksgiving. Oh. They have the big table. They have glassware. They are fancy. They are Bougie. dressed from head to toe. Okay, they they got money. They they and not they always not always have money, but they're just really into it. Okay. They decorate and they make sure that everyone is there for dinner. Put your phones away. But you know, but when it, and they the don't let same, anybody else bring food because they trust that theirs is all homemade. And we're saying, you and know, you're like, the host doing it all. And we're saying, you know, like there's a chance that you probably don't got money, queen. But a Thanksgiving dinner is fucking expensive. Yes, tableware is. So I feel like a lot of it does have to do with like, yeah, you know, like income and stuff because not everybody could have all the yeah. pretty tableware and all the decor and stuff. I feel like we grew up like we're, you know, it just depends. I was going to ask like you what you think you are. As long as the spirit are. is there, it don't matter. Because, like, I'm thinking growing up, like, yeah, we had the disposable plates. You have a lot of family coming over. Bitch, that's a lot of dishes. You got me fucked up. I When I was watching this TikTok, I'm like, number one is cute, but we still always very much dressed up. Okay, yes. I was never growing up the casual. Okay, so growing up, that's what it was. We had, of course, like, think you about You gotta have many, the fall outfit queen. When I'm thinking, like, when we were kids or even growing up as teenagers, you know, we all had disposable plates and stuff. Um, everybody everybody was bringing a plate, like, some kind of, uh, every. it's like a potluck. And we know? had, like, it was most likely the turkey disposable plates. A hundred percent, yeah. Or even just the regular disposable plates. Yeah. But, but we brought the spirit. Uh, but yes, because there's people, there's people that are like, we're gonna eat. Let's be uncomfortable. They might even wear like Christmas PJs or very much that vibe. Okay. I still feel like we put a lot of effort in what we were going to wear because I we like, love Thanksgiving like that. When I think of Thanksgiving, I think about um, the Thanksgiving outfit. The medias, the skirts, the it, it, It's just like there's like a, a there's a, a certain aesthetic to Thanksgiving that yes. I'm like, it, it almost feels like you're dressing up just to eat dinner. But it's like a dress up. Yes. Yeah, for sure. I feel like we're number two. Okay. Yeah. I feel like. Oh, yeah. Because honestly, even when I host. So I'm so annoying. I'm like talking too much today. No, no. I feel like even when I host Thanksgiving here, like I love to have my brother come over to decorate, you know, like a table. 
and I like to put I like to put tableware or glassware. Mm-hmm. But, like, the plate you're going to eat off of is a disposable one, queen. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll have a cute plate on the table for decor, but the one you're going to serve yourself on is going to be disposable because I'm not washing 20 dishes. You know what I mean? I'm not, that's a fucking shitload of people bringing, like, dishes. And I'm open to people bringing their sides and stuff. But But you are definitely a host. I, 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 but I'm like, let me make the turkey, queen. Don't touch it. No. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Would you, if someone told you, like, Karina, don't worry about it. I'll bring the turkey. What are you telling them? I'll be like, oh my God, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> I love making turkey. Please don't worry about it. I love making turkey. No, but I, you know, I just don't want you to stress this year. I'll do it. I'll take it. No. <laughs> that's how you're saying no. I, I would just be like, Ugh. I'll be like, Queen, I'm going to keep it real. It's going to taste like shit. Imagine. No, 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 because I don't know how they make the turkey. <laughs> What if they're actually better you know than you? You know, ah! no, no. Yeah. you know I gotta be real. Them? I don't think there's anybody that makes better turkey than no, you, queen. No, you know what I'm gonna ask them? I'm gonna ask them, Send me how do you make your turkey, queen? <laughs> it's all dry as fuck. No, because I actually like, I've had those conversations with friends before. Oh. When we're like, we should have a Friendsgiving. And they're like, I make amazing turkey. And I'm like, ah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're all getting down. Who's gonna make the turkey? I'm like, how do you make your turkey? Because I make my turkey usually for my gatherings. You're like, not, because I make it the best. No, no, no. no. It's not a competition. Uh, you can't compete where you can't compare. Uh, <laughs> kidding. Oh, fucking kidding. It's not Bye. that serious, but it's not. It's fucking turkey. You girl, no, no. no, I'm sorry. Turkey will either break no. it or make it, girl. Because let me tell you, I was never a fan of turkey at any other Thanksgiving year till I met the turkey. <laughs> no, no. And it's not even like that. I'm just fucking fucking no, with like, it's hold not on, even that. No, you serious. guys. Karina, but. please, you need to do that turkey recipe on TikTok I'll, because let them. me tell you, you will have your family drooling with this turkey. It's just so good and so much flavor. A oh. lot of, you know, the thing about turkey is that I feel like it needs, you have to add so much flavor because it doesn't catch it the same. And you and need I've it to melt some, off the bone. I've tasted some dry ass fucking turkey that tastes like nothing. Mm. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like you need. And whose turkey was this? And no, like, you just taste <laughs> different turkeys. And like, that's why growing up, we never really had it. I never cared for it. Yeah. And like, you need to just learn like, well, I have, I've had, I've seen so many different recipes and I just always add to it. Every year I'm adding like different shit to it. But I, that's what I would ask somebody. How do you make your turkey queen? And if mm. we make it similar, I'll be like, why don't we meet up this, come over. We'll make it together. <laughs> yeah, you still when I want control. But then also, like, if you're having somebody host at their house, like, you would think, like, they're probably going to make the turkey. I don't know. Yeah, like, what if somebody no, hosts? But if, if, but if I know this person is, like, gets down in the kitchen, I'm going to be like, you know what? I, I think I trust you with the turkey. Right? Yeah. I'm going to still need you to make some on the side in case. Bye. No, I love turkey. Have it as backup. It's all the fucking, like, shit you put in it. Like, if you put butter underneath the skin, and if you, like, put all the seasonings... So is that good. what the so juice good. is like butter it's everything myra i don't know it's just everything combined mm-hmm. but you need to make that bitch and also like Turkey a trick season you guys, is here a trick is like cooking it like on its chest so that all the juice could seep down to the chest like cooking it like upside down because i actually told a friend recently they were like how do you get they're like they're like i have the recipe down it tastes amazing it's just that the the chest is always like the breast of the turkey is usually dry I'm like, cook it upside down because all the juice seeps to the bottom. So for hours that it's slow roasting, the juice will sit on its chest. When you take it out of the oven, then flip her and then have the chest up. Chest? <laughs> the breast up. This is so sad. And that means that the breast already collected all the juice for hours. So it's like. I just had a sad thought. I just thought about all the turkeys right now thriving. Oh, like, hey, shut up. <laughs> oh my god don't oh my god my heart i just why do we have to eat turkeys like mm, that's girl. actually so sad stop it right now I mean, all stop the animals it. we eat god, thanksgiving is canceled <laughs> imagine the, all the food we eat every day like it's so sad living like blinded like that actually what is that saying isn't it part of the pyramid oh, what is it what is that saying uh Ojos que no ven, corazón que no siente, like, bye. Kind of like when you're eating chicken and it starts tasting like actual chicken and you're like, this is a chicken. <laughs> Bitch, why is that a thing? Like, obviously it's That's chicken, so- but sometimes I'm like, this tastes too much like chicken. Like, why? Like, it's just... Or like meat. I don't like being an empath, 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 mm-hmm. because 
I'm thinking about all of them. Bye. And when we were having the turkey talk, I was like, oh, the amount of turkeys. Oh, my God. Don't say that. <laughs> no, because when you are eating oh, any man. meat, Myra, do you ever do this? Like, let's say you go to a restaurant and you order, like, I don't know, chicken wings. And you eat your chicken and you don't eat some and of them. You don't eat all of them. Like, no, my messy really. And then you're thinking you're like, this chicken died for what? Stop. I didn't even finish it. This chicken leg is going in the trash. For what? So sad. You ever think that? You're like, oh, they died only to not even fucking. Well, that just shows how privileged we are that we have leftovers. That part. That part. And not just that. Yes. Let's get into it with Thanksgiving. If you have leftovers, go take it to like the homeless the next day. Do something, even if you don't have yes. leftovers. I think, I also think about the homeless in general. I can literally cry thinking about like people celebrating on thanksgiving and knowing that there's people out there with no families that is so sad or no food no food the privilege of having a fucking feast here how about this i challenge y'all you know with the holidays coming up obviously you know if you could do this any other time of the year amazing but why not this holiday season gather with your family make some sandwiches make some tamales i don't know do, do what that. you guys gotta do and go out there and hand them to the homeless we should do that. and we should do that we really should that is like like if it's thanksgiving morning if it's thanksgiving week i think just the privilege of being able to celebrate even just you know sometimes we think we could complain about certain things like i think sometimes just reminding yourself like the fact that i even have a uh, a, a home over my head and the dinner and i'm in we're making dinner as a family and eating together the fact that you have that food on your table on thanksgiving that's that's one huge thing to be the grateful leftovers for us is just crazy that's one you know we talk about like i'm grateful for this i'm grateful for that the fact alone that you're having this feast is a huge blessing mm -hmm. having that food part. that part you guys well what a way to get sad on here huh? Imagine. right to see it for what it is it's so true oh it's so true <laughs> you're like oh damn now i'm depressed you now to <laughs> that now i'm just gonna be sad the whole day <laughs> starts crying <laughs> no that's some real shit y'all oh man oh you guys so by the time you're watching this it's actually the the holiday drinks are out at starbucks are they out right now no tomorrow will be the first day oh by the time gosh. they're watching this Next episode we'll have our our <laughs> I can't talk it. Next episode we'll have our holiday drinks, queen. Oh my gosh, I just want like a hot peppermint mocha. I, I was gonna say that is my go to, um, with no caffeine. I love it. Fine. It just tastes like I don't know, like hot chocolate. Imagine. So hot chocolate. <laughs> no, no. Peppermint hot chocolate. Just say that. Yeah, queen, literally. literally. But that wraps up this episode. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Merry Thanksgiving. Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> My hair is fucked up. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yes, queen. And we'll see y'all in, in the next one. Bye.